Hello friends, in this video I'd like to solve the following problem from the Italian Mathematical Olympiad 2013 problem number 4. Let uh, 5654 in, written in base B be a power of a prime. Find this base B knowing that B is greater than 6. Uh, so if you are not familiar with this notation, we take uh, consecutive digits and multiply them by consecutive numbers or powers of b going from right to left as in decimal system but here is b instead of 10 and my hints for this problem are the following express this number as a polynomial and factorize it and then remember that both of these factors must be powers of the very same prime number so give this problem a try and i will see you in a minute Okay, so my solution, this problem is not that complicated. So this number, we take digits from right to left and multiply them by increasing powers of variable b. And now it's time to factorize this cubic polynomial. And, and we can easily guess one root, namely, if we put b minus 1 we have a 0 so we can just divide by b plus 1 you can do it in any way you wish but my favorite way is to write 5b cubed plus 5b squared plus b squared plus b plus 4b plus 4 it's exactly the same and now i will take 2b squared b plus 1, b times b plus 1, 4 times b plus 1, and we see a common factor, b plus 1, 5b squared, plus b plus 4. Okay. And the second parenthesis is a quadratic polynomial which has no real zeros. And let's do the following. Since in our first parenthesis we have b plus 1, let's express the second parenthesis also in terms of b plus 1. How can we do it? Well, in the following way. Let's write b as b plus 1 minus 1. And let's write b as, well, b plus 1 minus 1. Nothing very special. And now, we have b plus 1, 5 times. Here we have as a square of a difference, difference of two numbers. So we have 5b plus 1 squared minus 10 times b plus 1 plus 5 plus b plus 1 plus 3. And after simplification, we have b plus 1, 5b plus 1 squared minus 9 times b plus 1 plus 8. Okay, so we have the following factorization. And now remember that both of the parentheses must be powers of uh, the, the very same prime. So let's, let's uh, write that b plus 1 is p to the power of k, where k is a positive integer and p is a prime. The question is, what prime this p is? Can p be odd? No, it can't. Why? Well, note that if p were to be greater than or equal 3, then, then let's take a look. Uh, 5, uh, b plus 1 squared is obviously divisible by p. b plus 1 is divisible by p. And we will have 8. And it's a problem because that would mean that p divides 8. And that is impossible. An odd number cannot divide an even number which 
is impossible. Yes, I have used the fact that the second parenthesis, this entire this entire business right here, it's also a power of the very same prime number p. So it's divisible by p, and divisibility by p lets us directly to divisibility to the fact that p divides 8, and that cannot happen for p odd. And since, since p is an even number, that can mean only one thing, namely, p, uh, p must be equal to. Okay, so now we know something. And moreover, remember that b equals p to the power, 2 to the power of k minus 1. And remember that b is greater than or equal 7. Why? Uh, because it's given in our problem statement that, it, that b is greater than 6, which means that this exponent, k, must be 3 or greater. 3 or greater. Okay, 3 or greater. But now let's take a look. Can k be really greater than 3? Well, if k is strictly greater than 3, then, then what exactly happens? Then mm, 16 does not divide 5 to the power 2 to the power 2k minus 9 times 2 to the power k plus 8. Why is that? Well, because this is divisible by 16. This is divisible by 16 as well, but 8 isn't. So 16, 16 doesn't divide the right hand side, the second parentheses. Maybe write it in green, in red, sorry. Which means, i.e., 16 doesn't divide 5b plus 1 squared minus 9 times b plus 1 plus 8. Uh, let's also notice one more thing. It's easy to notice. It's easy to notice that 5b plus 1 squared minus 9 times b plus 1 plus 8 is strictly greater than just b plus 1. You can verify it easily. Uh, it's a simple quadratic inequality which turns out to be uh, to be fulfilled, to be satisfied by every real number b. And let's take a look. We, that means that this number is greater than this number. Remember, this number was 2 to the power k. This number is 2 to the power l, which means that this exponent should be greater than this exponent. Than this exponent. So this necessarily has to be divisible by 16, because l is 4 or higher. And we get a contradiction, because we have established that 16 doesn't divide this expression. So, that means that L is greater than K, K is greater than 3, uh, which means that 16 does divide 5 to the power b plus 1 minus 9 times b plus 1 plus 8. And that's a contradiction. 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 So we have only one possibility, namely, k must be equal 3 must be exactly equal 3 
And in this case, let's take a look. That means that b plus 1 equals that b equals 2 to the power of 3 minus 1, which is 7. Uh, and let's also check the second, uh, the second part. What is 5 times b plus 1 squared? minus 9 times b plus 1 plus 8 well that's just 5 times b plus 1 is 8 so it's times 64 minus 9 times 8 plus 8 and that should be and that is let me take a look yes 256 it is a power of 2. So we have our result, namely b must be equal 7. b must be equal, uh, sorry, not 3 but by 7. b equals 7 and that is the only solution. So yes, I hope that you've enjoyed my video, I hope that you've learned something new and I will see you next time. Goodbye.